Hello, my name is Chandler White, and I march in the Tulip Time Parades for Holland High School. Seeing the kids uh, watch, especially like the drums go past. When I was uh, third grade, I moved to Holland with my dad, and I watched the Tulip Time Parade, and I was sitting on the side. He pulled me out of school. I mean, I shouldn't be saying that, but uh, he pulled me out of school, and we watched the parade, and all I remember is when the drums came by, the Holland, um, I felt like the drum going through my body, and I told myself that day that's what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. I take a lot of band classes. I take all that's available at Holland. Like, I do it five times a day, dance and drum at the same time, and that's, <laughs> I don't even remember what happens when I get home. I, I find the pillow, and that's all I remember. <laughs> when we practice in the band room, uh, I remember, like, when we play tiptoe, uh, it's just, when we played it for the first time this year, everything, like, the music was gone, but it was, like, Two of time like swelled up inside the room. The first note, bump, bump, boom. It's it was I just got flashes of tulip time. <laughs> it was crazy. Keeping the wooden shoes on, that's probably the hardest part. I remember uh, one year I we were, I, I clenched my toes so I can keep the wooden shoe. Uh, one day uh, during a parade, I accidentally left the shoe like untucked, and it flew up and hit my friend in the back, and. Uh, that's, that's pretty hard to keep your toes clenched the entire time. You can't walk normally like where you roll your foot. You have to pick up your whole foot. Um, otherwise, if you roll it, you're falling over. Um, it's done. Uh, we do wear extra socks underneath. We wear about seven to 10 layers of socks. Um, it takes about five minutes of prep just to get into the shoes. And then what I do is I go against the wall and I kick the shoes back on so they stay inside. Um, but after a while, it starts, in the beginning it hurts, but after a while you get used to it, definitely. When we're carrying the drum and we're like, we try to do the dance and we dip and stuff, the drum doesn't allow us to go down all the way because it'll hit our feet. Um, sometimes we'll go home with like bruises on our thighs. Um, but what we do is we, we have to push the drum kind of out of the way. So when I call in it, I'm doing taps and we, we, when we were about to kick for the first time, I have to put my hand on the drum and then kind of lean back first before I kick, before I like kick out my leg. When you're on the drum line, it's, it's definitely different, but we can still do it. The first kick, it's, it's like, a, it's like a, a loud cheer, and then the, we know when someone's shoe fall off, falls off when they go, oh! Um, one year my shoe fell off, and I, well, some lady tried to grab it right in front of me right before I was about to like, pick it up again, and <laughs> they, they love it. I remember one year we had a kid with wooden shoes, he put like the like the metal that you put on the scooters, um, and so every time he did a rock kick, sparks would fly from his wooden shoes. <laughs>